shall bow down before you, O God, and shall sing to your name, O Most High. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Hello, everyone. My name is Father Matt McGee, a priest of the Archdiocese of Denver. And it's a joy to be with you on this pre-recorded Mass for the second Sunday in Ordinary Time here at the Cathedral Basilica of the Immaculate Conception. You'll still see, or you see that we still have some Christmas decorations up. We'll keep them up here formally until the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord on February 2nd. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, you we bless you, you we adore you, you we glorify you, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son, Lord God, God Lamb of God, God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, Mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. Samuel was sleeping in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. The Lord called to Samuel, who answered, Here I am. Samuel ran to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me. I did not call you, Eli said. Go back to sleep. So he went back to sleep. Again, the Lord called Samuel, who rose and went to Eli. Here I am, he said. You called me. But Eli answered, I did not call you, my son. Go back to sleep. At that time, Samuel was not familiar with the Lord because the Lord had not revealed anything to him as yet. The Lord called Samuel for the third time. Getting up and going to Eli, he said, Here I am. You called me. Then Eli understood that the Lord was calling the youth. So he said to Samuel, Go to sleep, and if you are called, reply. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. When Samuel went to sleep in his place, the Lord came and revealed his presence, calling out as before, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, Speak for your servant is listening. Samuel grew up and the Lord was with him, not permitting any word of his to be without effect. The word of the Lord.
Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I've waited, waited for the Lord, and he stooped down to me. He put a new song into my mouth, praise for our God. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. You delight not in sacrifice and offerings, but in an open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and victim. Then I said, see, I have come. Here am I, my Lord, I come to do your will. In the scroll of the book it stands written of me, I delight to do your will, O oh my God. Your instruction lies deep within me. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips have not sealed. You know it, O oh Lord. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the body is not for immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord is for the body. God raised the Lord and will also raise us by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? But whoever is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Avoid immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the immoral person sins against his own body. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God, and that you are not your own? for you have been purchased at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. John was standing with two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. 
Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and you will see. So they went and saw where Jesus was staying. And they saw and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I draw your attention to a seemingly unimportant line in our Gospel. It was about four in the afternoon. Why would John mention this? Well, John mentioned it because later, when Simon and Andrew were telling the story of their encounter with Christ, they remembered it so well that they remembered the time of day that it was. If you open up your Bibles to Acts chapter 22, Paul himself tells the story when he was going down to Damascus and a light shone from heaven, and he says it was about noon. What is the moment in your life, what is the moment in my life that we remember the Lord encountering us? For me, it was when I was in St. Louis and I really felt the Lord calling me to leave my life there and join the seminary. Another priest told me the story that he was driving on the Jersey Turnpike one time and had a profound conversion. Uh, Others may have different encounters. Maybe you remember the moment that your spouse proposed to you, the day you got married. What were those moments of grace that the Lord has planted in your life? We hear of our first reading, the importance of a vocation. As with our gospel, Jesus asks each one of us the important question, What are you looking for? What is Jesus asking of us? And what in turn are we asking of Jesus? After we have this encounter with the Lord, we're invited to, like Andrew, go to our friend, go to our brother, go to the stranger even, and pronounce, proclaim, we have found the Messiah, the one who is to bring us joy and peace and happiness. So what is your four o'clock in the afternoon, the moment that God came to you? I invite you to pause your computer or your TV and just spend a moment or two in prayer and ask the Lord to speak to you and reveal that moment to you. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all All things things visible visible and invisible. invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only only begotten begotten Son of God, born of the the Father Father before all ages, ages. God from God, God, light from light, light, true God from true God, God. begotten begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, salvation, he came came down down from from heaven. heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, with open hearts, let us turn to the Lord with all of our needs. We pray for the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the peoples of all the world, 
that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief, especially in this new year. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all those who are participating in this Mass, that the Lord may graciously receive us as a sacrifice acceptable to him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For blessings on the Catholic Foundation of, the, of Denver, here in the Archdiocese, and its many benefactors who make the broadcast of this Mass possible. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those prayers that we offer the Lord now in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, our loving God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church, for you yourself are the source of all devotion. And grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his, your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. (laughs) 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Samuel, our Bishop, Jorge, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We have come to know and to believe in the love that God has for us.
Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by the one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Very special thanks uh, to all of you for joining in back in ordinary time now, and also thanks to the Catholic Foundation, uh, to the Cathedral Basilica, and to the Archdiocese of Denver for making this Mass possible, uh, especially over these last couple weeks with Christmas and New Year's. Uh, we've been able to touch the lives of many uh, at home uh, and beyond who have been unable to attend Mass in person. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.